So are electromagnetic fields dangerous? You and I have an insatiable appetite for electricity. Come with me and we'll look at the issues relative to wind farms and the communities that they serve. This is The Wind Farm Guy. Hi, this is Dennis Stout and thank you for joining me for this episode of The Wind Farm Guy. About four years ago, I did a video on electromagnetic fields, or EMFs. Now, EMFs get a lot of attention. Some say they're very dangerous. Others say not so much. Let me first say that anytime you're dealing with electricity, you are dealing with danger. Certainly, in most cases, that risk is small or at least manageable. Anytime electricity goes down a wire or goes through something, it generates an electromagnetic field in all cases. The higher the voltage, the more EMFs. To be sure, large transmission lines being high voltage generate EMFs. I've checked it with my own meter. Another aspect of EMFs are their inability to survive outside the electrical environment. Standing under a transmission line, my EMF meter read some huge numbers. However, as I walked away from the line, those readings went down dramatically, even with each step. It's kind of an exponential relationship. As I moved closer, the readings increased with each step exponentially. The inverse also happened as I walked away. The readings fell exponentially. I didn't have to go very many steps until the meter read very low numbers. We want the convenience of electricity, so we bring it into our homes. Yes, it's a lower voltage than a high line, but we still intentionally bring EMFs into our homes. My meter next to a plug in use or a wire in the wall still read high numbers but decrease as I moved away. But then we also have wires that bring that electricity all the way to us. Power cords and extension cords are also surrounded by EMFs. The things in the home that produce the greatest number of EMFs happen to be the things we put right next to our bodies. Cell phones have high EMFs and we put them right next to our head. Notebook computers are huge culprits, and we lay them on our laps and place our hands right on top of those keyboards. One of the biggest offenders are blow dryers, and many people put them right next to their head to fix their hair. We seem to be perfectly okay with EMFs, and that may actually be a good thing. For decades, NASA has been studying EMFs for their healing powers. That's right, using EMFs to heal. There have been multiple studies that document this amazing healing power of EMFs. Now, I'm no doctor or scientist, but it's easy to recognize this positive effect. Scientists have found that a cut, a laceration in the skin, heals dramatically faster if EMF therapy is incorporated. It's been found that bones also heal faster when EMFs are applied. And it's gone beyond scientific studies too. There are doctors currently using pulsed EMF or PEMFs to treat their patients today. They're finding great success in their patients by incorporating PEMFs. Then there is TMS, transcranial magnetic stimulation. Keep in mind that the brain is a collection of firing electric pulses. That's how it works. So by definition, there is a self-generated EMF inside our brain. There has to be. This TMS is where experimental psychologists are, are using EMFs outside the head to alter those EMFs inside the brain with less than a millisecond long pulse that leads to the depolarization of certain neurons inside the brain. This has been found to help folks suffering from issues with memory or sensation loss. 
The FDA has also already approved this TMS therapy as de treatment for depression and OCD. The National Institute of Mental Health is finding huge success in these and other therapies involving EMFs. If you like what we've discussed today, please click like and subscribe below. If you have thoughts or want me to address a particular topic relative to wind farms, please also leave me a comment. Okay, we've been taught that EMFs are harmful, and at their core, I suppose they are. However, we seem to be okay with it, so okay that we not only bring it into our homes, but we surround ourselves, even engulf ourselves with them. Can you imagine the EMF saturation with electric blankets, heating pads, head-mounted gaming gear, even our own Bluetooth devices like headphones? But on the positive front, science is showing a whole new side to electromagnetic fields. Today, medical science uses radiation and powerful chemicals to fight cancer. I expect that the future is quite promising with this EMF field in medicine. They're already altering neurons inside the brain. There is no telling what they will be doing with EMFs in the future. Can you imagine? Maybe even conduct surgery without ever making an incision. Simply manipulating stuff inside the body by things outside the body. After all, one of the most dangerous aspects of surgery is the fact that we're breaking the plane, opening up the inside of the body to the outside world and exposing it to germs and things that should never be there. This EMF manipulation method could lead to some amazing treatments and techniques in the future. It's already happening. And so the concern that EMFs from electricity generated by a wind turbine are not really a concern at all. This is Dennis Stout, and I'm the Wind Farm Guy. Thank you for watching. Working together, we can make good energy decisions and save our planet. I am the Wind Farm Guy.